Hello Aries, how are you doing? Welcome into your love reading. Thank you for clicking onto this video. We're going to see what is going on between you and another person. We're also going to see what we do not see coming here as well between the two of you. Right now I'm calling in your spirit guides. Please come into my spirit room, guide this reading forward, show us what we need to see, give us the messages we need to receive and also at the end of the reading, show us what we don't see coming. Okay, so let's get started for you. The first energy I'm going to get out here, which is a really for is going to be what is going on the overall vibe of what is going on between you and your person so let's have a look and see so there's an opportunity beckoning here this is four of cups so there's an opportunity that's come in here this could mean that you may have reconnected with somebody from your past because opportunity beckons it's usually a love offer that's coming in and it's up to you if you decide to take this love offer or not to take this love offer it can have you a little bit worried and a bit stressed out as you can see even the man his whole body is kind of like a language is kind of like down and like you know, it's a bit of a heavy weight that he's carrying. There's even an iron ball there. Um, let's see what's going on. We're going to get a card out that represents your person and then you. And we're going to see what's happening here between the two of you. We're actually going to have a look at their feelings as well and see what's going on here. So their energy, 1111, <laughs> um, joy and stability. So this is somebody definitely coming back in. You've got two fours now have come up in your reading. This is definitely somebody that has come back in here. I feel like they're the one who made the move because it's their energy that carries the 1111. You could be the overall energy is you're not like, I feel like this connection is not 100% back together, but you're not pushing each other out as well. But it's not sure about what is going on here. So let's have a look and see. You, you got all fours in your reading, 444. Four, four. Um, we're going to read the energy on the bottom of this deck to see what we do not see coming. Okay, so right now, You've got somebody coming in here. I feel like they're telling you they they want to be happy with you. I feel like they're telling you they want to be stable with you. Um, I feel like they're making you a lot of promises uh, where things have gone wrong in the past. You've got somebody coming in here going, now I want to be with you. Now I love you. I want to be stable with you. I see a future with you. Can we move forward together? And there is the energy that's coming through here. Um, I feel they're saying they love you. Okay, with the Queen of Cups being there. They do have emotions for you. There is this Five of Swords coming in here. The conflict that was. Okay, this is the conflict that was. This is you and your person. There's the olive branch of peace that is this Four of Wands and that offer. Yeah, you are pretty closed off here. Okay, so there is definitely somebody coming in here saying they have love for you. There is definitely somebody coming in here wanting to fix the problems from the past. Okay, Aries. <laughs> so let's have a look in and see what's going on. This is an interesting reading because it'll be interesting to see what the energy is under that deck to see what's coming. Let's get one more card for them. Okay, very slow. Maybe this could be the problem. You see the stability they're talking about, or he's talking about, or she's talking about? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. There is the stability. Okay. And uh, the stability is very slow in coming. The talk can be pretty quick because that's one's energy. So you've got a person coming in here talking very fast movements, talking about things taking place, talking about all this. But the actual actions to get the relationship to stability is very, very slow. So let's see by you. Somebody wanting to repair. That's what I pick up on here. What do you do? Let's see by you. Let's see on your side. What is up with you? What's What's your feelings about all of this? Maybe we can decipher something here as to why. I feel like it's about the stability being that slow. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Sun card has come up here. Look, you want to be happy with this person. You do want to be happy with them. The hangman, but you're holding back. It's so obvious because you can even see the four of wands there. The four of cups. I mean, the four of uh, pentacles, the four of wands being there. It's them coming in. The four of cups, it's you not sure. And it comes up in this energy here as well. Let's make space for that. So you can see they want to be happy with you. Um, they're offering everything here, but you're still holding back. It's almost like you want to see this to believe it. You know what I mean? I can understand that. Let's see and have a look and see. World card, there's hope though. You got hope. You got hope. hope. But the thing is, um, there's a fear attached to this hope. 
because the world card sort of showed itself to me in that reverse position. There's a bit of fear attached to that hope that you have about this situation. And I think the fear is that the dreams that they are offering you, the promises that they are making in this card, um, it's about the stability not really getting there. It's like, will this horse ever get to that world there? Is it going to make it through? Look, I think you wouldn't mind to be happy with them. I think you wish that this could come true and everything will be fine. But because you've had your heart broken from this person, you're being extremely careful so that does not happen again. Um, it's not that you don't want it, but you, you've you got experience. You know what I mean? You know what has happened before. So this is quite interesting. I'm, I'm just looking here. I wanted to see if I should get maybe another card out for you guys. Where's my other deck? Hmm. Okay, I'm looking for something specific. I don't see it. Well, then it's not meant to be. So let's see. Let's get the energy of what is going on here. Let's have a look and see for you. Let's get the energy of what is going on here. Yeah, they want to be in a stable connection with you. They absolutely, and they actually want to be fair. I can't believe this is coming up here. They want to be in a stable connection. That's your nine of pentacles. That's your six of pentacles. It says well-deserved reward. You see, and I'm really surprised. This person may really have had a wake up call giving and receiving that indicates that they want to do the right thing as well towards you and they want to build the future that they're coming in and talking about, which is the stability. Wow, why did you know that was going to come up? I didn't know, I wasn't like sure what would come up with that energy, honestly. Because you know, people can make promises and you don't know if those promises are real. But what from what I'm seeing here, it looks to me like they they pretty they're being pretty genuine about it. So let's see by you, it's a new beginning. My goodness gracious, yes, there has been something that has been healed here. Something has been healed in this in this reading. You've got a judgment card that has come up here. There has been situations between you and this person um, that have been almost like karmic things or karmic uh, bonds to each other. That's what I can could have called it because it says strengthening bonds. I think there was a tie that you've had to your person and um, that has karmic kind of connections to it and that you know when we have a soulmate or we have somebody that we love it doesn't mean that we don't not have karma with them and I feel like you did have karma with them but there is an energy of that having been sort of worked through and left behind because after you got the blossom energy after you've got the ending of the judgment that means the situations in the difficult times or the things that you've had to experience with this person have been worked through and have been almost like released and that's when this new kind of beginning comes in so if you really want to know about this offer from them I honestly see from everything that I'm seeing on their energy from their cards it shows that they actually mean it they will be slow about it, but their energy is there. All of this is pentacles. It talks about the stability that they're trying to build with you. And this is them wanting to come in and doing the right thing. Wanting, and you know what I like about when you see hands like this in cards, you know, it talks about somebody who's willing to take the right kind of action. Hands means doing something. Action. I'm going to do something with my hands. So when you see the hands coming up like this and each one of these colors that is represented here is balanced energy. It represents all the elements. It represents earth, air, fire, and water. So they're very balanced in coming in. There's practicality, there's emotion, there's action, there's stability as well, which I really like. I really feel like, honestly, to tell you the truth, hold back and see what's going to happen because you still got the hangman energy in your energy. But I see, I see they're going to come in and do this the right thing, which is literally going to lead you to a new beginning with this person. And if you're going, no, I will never get back with this person, then you do that as well because this is a tarot reading it guides you it doesn't tell you what to do and if you feel like I should completely release this person and start out on my own then that's how you read the energy but if you're going no I can see this is going to go to a really good place this is what they are telling me then it can go to this really good place it's all up to you remember you've got total free will here to change your life anytime you want to make the decisions you need to make that's going to literally make you happy you got very positive positive cards coming out in this reading. There we go. Thank you so much, Aries, for watching. I am sending my love to you guys.